Hello friends, how y'all doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sherry and if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. For our video today, I will test out Elf's Camo CC Cream. Oh my gosh, this product is quite popular at the moment. I will test it on my problematic skin and let's see how it performs. <music> Before anything else, let me share with you that during this filming day, I also created a product review of a new fragrance called Signature by Mont Blanc. If you are interested, the link is on the screen and of course, it is available in the description of this video. So let's go talk about this CC cream. When I was shopping for this product, finding my shade was challenging. Most of the shelves that I checked out are empty. Good thing I found this one shade to try. Although my gut tells me that this is a little light for me, I'll just fix it with the bronzer. The price range of this CC cream is around $14. This is a color correcting cream. It comes in a pump, so obviously it's convenient and travel friendly. Let's check the consistency. As you can see right here, it is quite firm. Obviously it's not going anywhere and it feels really, really nice at the back of my hand. Before I apply the CC cream, I will show you my problematic skin. I know on this frame I was out of focus, but as much as I can, I want to be real with you. I want to show you my real skin. Here you can clearly see some of my red spots, some acne scars. Later on this video, as I apply the product, you will also see the texture of my skin, all the flaws and all. So I'm quite interested if it helps even out my skin. I will use this foundation brush to apply the product and to cover this side of my face based on its consistency, I probably just need a pump of the product. I am going to zoom you in to show you what it's doing to my face. This is the coverage so far. I'm really really looking forward to finding the right shade for me. On this video, I was using the shade Light. 240W. As I apply the product, I notice that it feels light on the skin and it obviously covered all of the redness and the acne scars that I have. For this look, I just want to do my everyday makeup. Nothing crazy. I rarely do heavy makeup these days, so I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to continue applying the CC cream on my face. I'll include my neck and my ears. While I continue doing this, I will share with you further details about the CC cream. According to their website, this CC cream is a medium to full coverage color correcting foundation with SPF 30 protection. It's a multitasking foundation that provides skincare benefits infused with hydrating and youth boosting ingredients known to improve skin texture and tone. Those ingredients are hyaluronic acids, which helps provide hydration by locking in moisture, resulting in plump up, bouncy complexion. Second is the niacinamide, to help brighten and even out skin tone. Next, peptides, for a more refreshed complexion. And lastly, it's infused with skin-loving collagen. That's a lot of skincare benefits right there. Although this CC cream has SPF, I also applied my SPF beforehand. So far, I love their claims and I also love how it feels on my skin. It feels light. Cross fingers, this won't break me out. My skin just really freaks out every time I use a different foundation. Here's what the side of my face looks like with a CC cream on. It's two times better. It did its job in covering all of the flaws that I have. I can't really say more. The result speaks for itself. I'm going to finish this look now and I can't wait to see how it wears the entire day.
I applied the CC cream around 11 in the morning. I will do a check-in to see how it wears. This is a photo of me without the flash. Obviously, it looks flawless. And um, this is the photo with the flash. I am wearing tons of SPF, so I already anticipated the white cast. Come on here and show you what my skin looks like um, with some natural lighting. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I'm just using my phone right now for you to see what my skin looks like with, you know, natural lighting. Hopefully, it picks up what my skin really, really looks like. It's now 4.30, I think. And I'm doing this check-in. I can see some of my acne marks. I've already changed my clothes, but I'm sure you like what I'm seeing. Hold up, let's freeze this frame a little bit so that I can completely inform you about what I have observed wearing this CC cream. Now, I said earlier that this, for me, is light. That's subjective. I am comfortable wearing heavy foundation, and to me, this is light. For those of you who doesn't really wear foundation most of the time, I can tell you right now that this is not uncomfortable. This is not heavy at all. I also like the finish of it. After 5 hours of wearing it, I like the natural finish. There are some CC creams that can't really stay on my face like this. Others would make my face super, super shiny. I also didn't want to put powder while testing the CC cream because I want to see how it works on its own. After hours of wearing it, I can slowly see my skin imperfections peeking through. I was playing with my toddler, rubbing my nose, cooking, doing other stuff, but overall I can tell that this CC cream is promising. It delivered and it did not just color corrected my skin, it also covered the flaws that I have. All I really need to do is add the powder to the mix add my trusty powder and for sure this will have a longer wear i'll be back on here and i'm gonna give you an update at the end of the night it's the end of the night it's 11 and I'm gonna go straight to the point. Yes, I like the CC cream. Of all the CC creams that I've used before, this by far has the highest coverage. But then again, you also really have to consider in putting your primer on. For me, I can skip the primer, but you really, really have to set the CC cream. And I also like that this CC cream has all of the you know collagen peptides and niacinamide. I don't know how much, but it's a really good idea to put those stuff in a CC cream. I have to get something a little bit darker than this one because this one, the initial application is super white on my face. Overall, that's what I have to say about this CC cream. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours. Apply every two hours, that's some work right there. I have a powder that I use right now that has SPF so that I don't really have to reapply a cream product on myself all day. I personally just don't want to reapply a cream product on my face. And that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a long day for me. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, click that bell button notification so that you will be notified for my next video. Stay safe, have a blessed day, I'll see you next time. Bye!